welcome to the XUCPA channel. My name is Charlene. I'm the partner of XUCPA. In the last two years, especially the year of 2021, almost 50 million people quit their job following the worst of pandemic. People complain about burnout, people were not satisfied with their jobs, or people have to stay home because of childcare or elder care needs. And due to this very tight labor market, many were still able to find better jobs with better pay. However, after 10 straight interest rate hikes by the Federal Reserve with very stubborn inflation and mess layoff in some industries, some experts recently said that the Great Resignation is officially over. So today I want to talk to you about how to go about hiring the best talent for your company if you are a business owner and if you are looking to hire in-house accountants, bookkeepers, I have a few tips to share with you so if you want to know more about this, please stay tuned. Now, because of the current situation, most employers are no longer concerned about a rise in worker resignations. As a public accounting firm, hiring and retaining skill and talented staff is a critical aspect of you know running my own practice. Now, if you're a business owner and you're looking to hire in-house bookkeepers or accountants for your business, I would like to share with you some of my observations. Before sharing these tips uh, with you, I just want to say that in the last decade, hiring and training have been something that I've had to do constantly. So this sharing is purely based on my hiring experience, which may or may not be applicable to you. So the first observation I'm going to talk to you about is hiring junior accountants who started their career from home. Now during the pandemic year 2020, 2021 or even last year, many companies allow all workers including junior accountants to solely work from home. Now for most of the junior accountants, this really slowed down their ability to learn because they really started with no experience so there's no interaction, it's difficult, challenging for them to pick up you know, new technical knowledge or experience. So if you're hiring someone who started working in 2019 or 2020 and all these years until now, they have been working from home, you probably should expect that they are technically not as strong as their predecessors, meaning people, you know, who finished schools few years before the start of pandemic. The second observation or tip I want to share with you is test your candidate's technical skills. I cannot overemphasize that because I was interviewing a candidate with above average GPA just yesterday from a fairly reputable school. And I asked a question about double entry. A simple question like when you make a purchase, do you debit or credit cash? A question that probably does not take an accounting graduate to answer. I was shocked to find out that the candidate had a hard time getting it right. So no matter what the candidates tell you, I always advise employer to at least perform some sort of technical assessment to gauge and understand the technical knowledge of the person you're hiring. Now I'm not saying that you're doing this to intimidate or to you know test and to embarrass uh, a candidate or interviewee. This is solely for the purpose of you have a good understanding of the technical knowledge and foundation of the person you are hiring. The third observation is as an employer, you need to be flexible and adaptable. As much as you want your staff to be flexible and adaptable, it needs to begin with you. Essentially, I'm saying to all business owners and employers out there, if you want to find good people, be open-minded. Don't judge a book by its cover. Sometimes a candidate may not have the best outward appearance or academic achievement, but given adequate training and with right attitude, he or she could outperform their peers. In our channel, I talk to you all the time about the latest, greatest tax news, updates, accounting news. And today, our segment is a little different and I'm sharing with you some of the challenges that a business owner faced that I myself face. 
So if you're a business owner like me and you struggle every day to look for the right resource to grow your team, I share your pain and I would like to hear your feedback, your experience, your ups and downs. And if you want to share with us, please comment below and I look forward to exchanging ideas with you. Until then, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.